Hey, good morning, traders. Uh, sorry for uh, being a bit late here. I had actually a, a technical issue just before this webinar started. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to, uh, to day three here. Uh, today we have uh, Louis uh, Recabaron. Uh, he is a private equities manager, a martial art expert, a professional ballet dancer, and a father of three. Uh, he's been trading for quite a while. Uh, he and his uh, partner, uh, developed a black box strategy um, that uh, uh, he's going to go through uh, some of the hypothesis that uh, this uh, black box, um, uh, you know, uh, computes for the day. Uh, and then uh, and then he looks at the order flow uh, and uh, he goes through a daily routine he's going to share with you today. So this should be uh, quite a nice uh, presentation. Really looking forward to it here. Uh, you can see some of the uh, content information there. Uh, for book map, uh, and then the risk disclaimer, I need to read this, uh, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, and then um, a few different uh, contact points here for Luis. Uh, you can see his uh, trading room here, uh, uh, algoquantgroup.ecofin.com. Uh, uh, CO and uh, here's the uh, contact information for Luis as well. Okay, uh, I'll also put uh, his link for uh, uh, Bookmap into the chat um, so that you guys have that if you're interested in getting a special deal um, for Bookmap from from uh, Luis. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let me uh, pass this over to Luis. All right, I'm gonna test the what monitor and we'll show. I think I'm gonna try the third one. Yes, okay, this is a high resolution. Hi, everybody, uh, thank you for, for coming. Can you see the, the screen right now? The, the, the screen is about the NQ, top left, uh, the right, it's ES. Yeah. Um, yes, we, we see it. Um, in fact, um, I see you're, you're using a quite quite high resolution here uh, yeah. for the uh, with the monitor. So uh, for everybody uh, attending here, this is what you'll need to do. Um, uh, there is a Zoom option in the kind of upper left hand corner there of GoToWebinar, uh, and then uh, uh, click on the on the drop down there. And then uh, there's Zoom 2, uh, and then you can choose like 75% or so. Uh, and uh, that's working well for me right now. If you want to zoom in more, maybe maybe uh, go to 100%. Uh, then what you can do is you can just left click, hold, and drag in that window to drag it around uh, to see the charts that uh, uh, Luis is, uh, is looking at. Okay? Right. Or you, can, or you can zoom out. All right. So... Uh... Well, thank you for the presentation, Bruce. Uh, I really appreciate this um, possibility to share thing. And then the, 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 the purpose of this is share. I mean, sharing is caring. Uh, <laughs> as a trader, you, you learn a lot of, like do some kind of a, you search for different um, people or knowledge and because there there is no university in trading at all. So my background is, uh, of course, I've been a dancer before. I'm not a dancer now. So just just to mention, I was a, um, a professional um, ballet dancer and martial arts as well competition. And after that, I educated myself with, a, with the Swedish MIT kind of the engineering. And um, I'd always been trading since year 2000, almost since 99. So. Um, but applying the, the the technical analysis, being through all the schools of, of what what you in searching for what is working for your personality. So uh, I figured out after the engineering school, I, I came up with time series an analysis. So studies um, like data and the on the on the on the one axle and the and data on the and the time. So I figured out that. There is something to do here with the with the prices and the time series analysis. Um, so after digging, digging, I um, I came up with a on a math math uh, seminarium uh, with the MATLAB. Uh, MATLAB is a program that it's uh, developed for engineering in all the fields. 
and then uh, uh, you can program we, with a very easy language you can program different uh, time series analysis mathematical problems i came in contact with the uh, with the uh, uh, mathematician, a PhD, uh, the, the 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 brain. I, I, I always say that is the is the brain. <laughs> but we we got into together and and we figure out that we could uh, automat uh, have an automatization of the trading trading strategies, and we came up with a with a code and then so with cloud data I can take in. The data of the ES, the NQ, whatever, all the futures, and make like a, like a trading plan for for that particular day. And so, and that's that's what I'm I'm working with. Like every every single day, it's I'm running the end of day analysis from from the cloud data, uh, and then make the comp competition uh, the calculations, and then I came up with a hypothetical. Uh, role plan what the ES will do and it's a kind of a reverse engineering of what other guys are doing and what other ones are searching uh, from the banking industry or the finance industry so and that uh, makes it uh, quite strong to find it it has nothing to do with the um, um, how do you say um, typical mainstream technical analysis so it's pure um, uh, math time series but the math it's 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 beyond my head but it, but it's i've been sitting in, in front of the computer and and watching the the apple go down how to, so to speak and then the mathematician mathematician he makes the code or the search for the math so that's uh, what what we came up with um, so what I do is simply watch for, I can, I can explain to you what the roadmap was for today, for the ES. If I zoom out, uh, I can explain, for, for example, I, I did, did the end of day analysis. And then I, I first of all, I got the direction, like the, it's, a, it's a bullish direction to the upside before this election and the the entry and the risk i had the 2745 entry on the es and the sell stops the risk that could be taken was 2731 and you can see it on the es all the red on the column notes it's a 2757 the 2760 then you have the 2771 and then 2778 and now i mean the es has has um uh, reach all those targets. Uh, so th that's the kind of a plan or or, or uh, a training plan that uh, MATLAB, the program, um, help help us to 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 try to read the market. At the same time, we try to see the order flow when prices are coming to those levels, uh, and if liquidity, long-term liquidity, is there in the book. So, and watch for the, uh, for example, you can watch the long, longer term liquidity on NASDAQ right now. Let me, I think I have a pen on this software. I'm gonna try, give control. Yes, drawing pen here. You can see on 71.32, it's a longer term liquidity. So I'm always trying to find this longer term liquidity on the, on the book map. In, Together with the the numbers that I have from the from the uh, MATLAB, uh, that's usually like you have a plan, you have a hypo, and then you prepare yourself how you, how do you gonna react? Because like like all the traders tend to do, you 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 get you get absorbed by the price and not what the behind the scene sort of uh, the flow what what they are preparing the intentions. <clears throat> is it is it kind of a clear or do I self am I yeah um no, no questions at the moment um it it's um uh a little hard to to see the pen uh maybe if you could use yellow 
Um, okay. Okay. And uh, maybe maybe a bit uh, more thick, but or thicker, but uh, um, if if possible, choose color. I'm gonna choose yellow. And the the pen. I don't know drawing tools. The normal you... drawing highlight highlighter. Maybe it's bigger. Here it is. Can you see that? Yes, that's very clear. I can paint this this guy, the liquidity guy over there. So that's I always try to find those uh, in conjunction with the book with the roadmap. And um, the reason why we I mean I'm I'm sharing this it, it came up I was sitting in also on another uh, trading room and and. Because as, as, as a trader, you, you have a job that is quite, um, it's kind of lonely sometimes. <laughs> so you try to find some kind of a, some, some trader friends that they know the business and professionals and, and different levels. So, and uh, uh, I figured out that, that oh man, I, I, should, I should share this. And it started as, a, how do you say, um, uh, Sharing is caring. I figured out. Uh, I, I should. I should. I should help out. I should. I think it's it's a it's a good initiate because some we there is some when you have a drawdown period you start to search for different strategies and what what is out there and you you have to go through this uh, kind of a process and then you realize okay uh, you have a su sustainable strategy and um, and um, a strategy that's um, kind of a healthy, in a way, like that. That you have a plan, you you have the book map, you have the order flow, and then if it's, I mean, if they don't work, okay, then it's done abnormally, and then, but at least you have a plan. <laughs> so, so I, uh, the idea to share it, it, it was to to be able to 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 share it to friends and. Uh, and that was it. Started from there, so we we started a, a trading room, and so we have this uh, sharing. Uh, I'm sharing the road plan every day, and we try to read the, the market. And uh, I tend to see the market as uh, rotations. Also, it's something also that I, that I, for example, the the ES tend to rotate in two, in two or three times. Uh, on those on those levels that I got from the roadmap, um, sometimes during the Asian session and European session, and then a second test when the cash market starts, and then for a third test, test it could fail as well. So, but um, markets tend to to give you more than a, more than a second chance to 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 apply this uh, this uh, roadmap, and of course you, you during the during the period of the day, you get absorbed because there is some news coming out. But if you're a professional, the only news that you care about is the central bank interest rate. Like, the, the, you're not trading this decision, just in all the, the small macro uh, uh, news that are out, uh, out there, they are very, how do you say, catal catalytic for the movement. So people are prepared almost. Because also, if you look at the dark pools, how they behave, uh, and if you look at the spy, how uh, the, the the transactions, the accumulations, how they are, and we can we can also see that in the the cumulative delta on the um, how do you say the the book map uh, on these uh, green lines. If you see under the chart, you see the accumulation of the years. Yeah. Um, so I already have some questions coming in for yeah. you. Um, the um, uh, let's see. So are are you using Bookmap uh, on, only for uh, entry uh, and timing? I'm using the the entire uh, screen for all the markets to see the rotations. For example, if the dollar yen futures are rotation, I have I have a road plan for the dollar yen. So if I see the rotations on the dollar yen, the NQ, the Russell, everything is lining in, then I I, I execute. If I have a confirmation on the liquidity as well, 
So that's why I'm also sharing these four different charts. I watched the VXX um, accumulation, um, the, the cumulative delta, and the behavior also. Um, so it's not only if you trade, if you trade, if you're only trading the ES and not watching the entire, entire, I mean, uh, universe of, of, of the instruments of the futures instrument, you're missing one part. So you have to figure. I figure out that, and there is a special mathematics there that it's uh, it's um, it's two when you have two moons like an eclipse, then you have a validate. The roadmap will be validate. And that's the same when when the roadmap when all the instruments are in line each other, with each other, then you have the the, the trade. It, the odds will be in your on your side also. Okay, understood. Um, uh, so just to go through it here, um, the the charts you're looking at here, uh, upper left hand corner is the uh, Nasdaq E mini, upper right hand corner is the uh, S and P E mini. Uh, lower right hand corner is the um, yen dollar or currency futures there. The, the lower left, the lower left. This lower is right. The, lower, lower right, right is Ap Apple. You see the price. Oh, it's Apple. Okay. It's Apple, 205 right now. The price VXX, this one. This is the VXX. Okay. So, and I have other screens that, that I, I watch the gold, the gen the futures on, of the, the euro also, and the okay. European, the DAX, so. What is the um, uh, purple uh, on the NASDAQ there, the uh, under the notes, uh, 71.44? Yeah, that was that was one profit objective that the roadmap gave me. Um, so if I, let me just clear this out, this noisy, the race. Normal non drawing mode. That's it. so. If I zoom out, those are the levels that MATLAB gave me. Here's the levels and the direction was a buy along, uh, so I will not trade against those uh, the direction try to to scalp any scalp any uh, trades put me on, on on the risk i could do it if the, if if i if the strategy like the the more intraday kind of thing gives me the the the, the signals i'm using also algos at the same time like an exoskeleton uh, i just want to erase this so erase. In, in 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 general um uh basically what you're doing is uh, uh using uh matlab uh, for your levels uh and then you are zooming into bookmap uh to look at the order flow uh specifics exactly that's what i'm i'm, I'm using like i have a i have a hypothetical plan and and then be able to be dynamic during the day. It doesn't need to exactly where 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 the levels are in the sort of buy here, sell there. But it's, if I see liquidity, if they are if they are lining in um, during the day before this level, that means that I have to front run the front runners, and you can see it visually. Um, <laughs> uh, so so. It's always be dynamic and, and flexible during the day, but you have a you have a direction, and you have the levels to react on it. Right, uh, right, understood. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Luis, if maybe you can comment on um, uh, how you might be managing uh, with Bookmap on like the six J and the six E. Yeah. Or are you are you trading those? Uh, those yeah, instruments? Sure, sure. This the six G. Yeah, all right. It's the same approach. Let me check. Uh, I can put it so you can see it. So I will be using the same strategy, like have the run the MATLAB and then 
send, then seeing the, the ranges of the market and taking uh, in consideration the time uh, in the in the trading uh, period. So if it's early European session or not trading the, 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 the those futures at like the last hour of the the American close. So it's always the same approach to have the, have a plan, have the levels, and then a, approaching and, and give me and, and watch for, to book map for uh, validation. Yeah. And, and it sounds really boring, but trading is supposed to be boring. <laughs> The sophistication is on the on the black box. That's where where the calculations are 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 done. The execution is the the kind of the hard thing or or yeah to be able to 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 have a system that you're so comfortable with to take the trade uh, and also the, to to be able to build that mentality. I mean, who who will take a trade the day? After this election, to the long side, the whole street was was supposed to. Everybody was really bearish and thinking about, oh, now we, we're going to drop ten percent. It's going to be a Brexit thing. Uh, but it's 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 no emotional. It's just seeing that the supply and demand is there in the in the in the book, and to be able to to apply that. It's um, yeah. And also always watch the market. If you're going to trade the ES, always wait, watch the market as as an entire universe because everything is interconnected. The the bonds, the gen, and so on. So so your your higher time frame MATLAB levels are uh, generated, um, uh, well, obviously proprietary um, uh, yeah. calculations that you've created, um, but uh, you are in. Are you involving um, not only multiple markets, um, but also are you looking at the the depth of market? Yeah, the time frame. It's it's always a longer time frame, the daily time frames, and um, and um, like data. I mean, data could be for for every. It's always moving this uh, with the front uh, month of the future. So. Um, and I have for the oil. I think I have data that I take in to my lab for I don't know. Could be like ten years. So it, it's really big. I mean, it's really it's. I take data from this service that I'm paying for Quant 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 Lab Quant Quant. That's the name of the data provider. I'm gonna give you the link in the chat. That's the data provider that you can you can try out and they are really really good data it's all cloud databases so with a with a api so we connect to those servers and, and make analysis and then it's always even though it's a longer term view of the market all the time but to be able to micro micro execution always look at the, the order flow and the uh, confirmation so okay so so the the matlab and your data your higher time frame data is um uh computed only for the day uh it's once every day uh and yeah, then that exactly. gives you that gives you the overall bias exactly i have i have like um i can do for all the futures like in two clicks like uh and then i get like okay i have to filter some things but i get a road a road map uh what is the hypo for the ES, what is the hypo for the NQ or the 6G or the the bonds or so on. So that's the it's a bias but but always like um have confirmation with bookmap. So it's it's it has to be confirmed. Okay. Uh so I mean for, for your trading decisions um you have to confirm it. Um yeah. Correct. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, is it? Um, are you having the um, custom notes there uh, automated as well? Does it spit those right into Bookmap? 
Yeah, exactly. I we have it. We test it, and then we can share it on the on a on the cloud. So you can use it with the cloud nodes, and you will have those levels. And um, yeah, I I had discussion with the with the with the the CEO book map as well, and and trying to figure it out. And now, yeah, we solve it. <laughs> it was not so hard at all, but it's just yeah. Yeah, we, we've worked with, with many uh, traders uh, uh, with um, the things kind of quite similar to this. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious though, like um, uh, maybe you can uh, define some of the colors for the decision-making um, in, the, in the custom notes. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, a, it's a, let, let's take the ES, we take this as a big, uh, I'm going to zoom out as well. So... So the numbers that I got on from MATLAB was today. Uh, let me put it on the pen so it will be clear. So a buying zone about 27, 47, 45. And the price you should not, I mean, you can buy it all the way in this zone as well. With a with a sell stops around 2731. The profit objectives, that's the first PO1. We call it PO1 profit objective one, and that's where we put some break-even stops and try try to trail out the the movement. So so you see we're not a scalper kind of a system. We write we try to write the um, uh, how do you say? We try to ride the, the movement of the market because we, we we do analysis on a higher time frame. Uh, hmm. so. so so right now the uh, looking at the uh, uh, S and P here, uh, this is overvalued. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a, it's a, we try to go away from opinions and and and. Of course, we we are not we have knowledge of the market profile and value area and so on, but we we try to. It is what it is. Markets wants to rally, and it's a kind of a relief rally. We know in the data that people were being selling into this election. Uh, if we look at the dark pools area, uh, they they've been selling, so they are forced to go back and uh, buy on the higher prices because the the mandate of the funds. They have to be invested as a, as a, as a long only. Some some of the funds out there are long only, so we try to also see this analyze analyze those data points. So uh, we we try to. So this this the roadmap for today was uh, it's all been done. I mean it's time of the uh, day. It's quite it, uh, Europe is closing right now. It's the end of day rebalancing of the price. Of the European equities, so we might get some some kind of a retracement, and uh, we will asset. I mean, if, if if there is some kind of a uh, opportunity, but the, the the easy opportunity has already been there for for, and then we reset, and then we do analysis overnight, and then we have a road plan for tomorrow, and we trade that road plan, or <clears throat> and and try to find the validation of that. Um, so the uh, the dark pools, um, you're, uh, what what uh, equities are you looking at? Um, or is there just a, a variety of them? Or is it just uh, Apple? SPY and the, and the AQQs. OK. Um, that's where you can check some, some kind of a dark pool activity. Um, yeah. Let me just go back to zoom out in this one. So how, how do you um, uh, kind of analyze some of the dark pools? I mean, we never really quite know what they might be doing um, in some of those transactions. Yeah, if I put, I mean, you can see it. The, the definition of dark pools, I mean, for the equities is one thing. The definition of the dark pools for for the for the futures is centralized, so there are no dark pools. They are hidden orders. They are hidden icebergs. But on the other hand, when you have dark pools, like Goldman has a dark pool or Morgan has dark pool, 
and and if you know where to look at if, if you know there is a trans because i see myself if i put a hundred lot on the es i see myself everybody sees sees myself see my see my order so that's that's the knowledge that you have if i do that same thing on the dark pools then i will know i see myself on the dark pool then you will do some reverse engineering to what to look for for other guys that are, are doing some transactions on the dark pools that's the approach so so you can solve the the, the, the where to look at do you get it my Under, understood so it's it's always context um yeah. uh, looking at the dark pools in in context to uh, uh a variety of different things from various instruments yeah yeah and it's it's um it's this all all the, the things like like Walter Walter also was talking about this stacking. He 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 has very very sharp knowledge about the stacking, and and you train your eye about seeing all this this uh, dynamics, the mechanics of the market, and you see you see where they're trying to when a program is hit hit the spy or the queue. You will also see the the programs there there the ES moves in contango so you try to see if they sold that 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 program or it was a it was a program that it, they reverse the selling because they need liquidity to sell ten thousand contracts so how are pros thinking how are are that's the, the approach that we uh, are are using kind of thing so um, to gauge a, a trade decision um it's discretionary um but would you be looking for just scalping maybe um at see some sort of opportunity like that for scalping for a few points or would you be looking for no, not necessarily i don't i don't like to scalp a def definition of some guys think that a trade is one point or two point trade i i i I mean, if you do it like thousand times, that thing once once in a while you you're gonna get hurt. I mean, if you if you're trading like hundred lots, you you don't wanna just be on that one point train. I mean, you're taking so much risk for. So the approach that it's more sustainable that I found it's more. MATLAB gives me gives me this kind of a. Uh, I mean, it's stressful anyway but how do you how do you reduce that and how do you how do you trade um with a with a proper plan and so i i tend to know not uh, scalp only base on if i have algos because i'm running algos at the same time if i connect them and when volatility is high then i connect some algos and then i go i can go out to pilot for for a period of, of one hour or two hours it depends on the volatility of the market uh, for example in february i mean i was always i was almost on autopilot like yeah it's it's depend it's depend so so then um uh how many trades uh, per day uh, are you taking uh, one or two one or two and i yeah. i would imagine like it, it depends, but uh, I would imagine most of them are probably within the first hour uh, of European session. Yeah, exactly. I I, I, used, I tend to take that one, the European session, and then the 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 first hour or the one and a half hour after the markets uh, cash the U.S. cash session. So understood. Okay. Everything kind of lines up at those points, and then uh, those are the opportunities. Else, yeah. you're not going to get in. Exactly. You you're not gonna get into this choppy choppy time market. I mean, after it's not worth it. People. I mean, um, you can identify also uh, the, the 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 algos that are running right now uh, that they are trading just the ranges. Those ranges could be like five points, ten points. When and I can show it for you also if you if the cruise. I think this this will be interesting for you guys. I'm gonna zoom out. Let's let's take yesterday's sixth of November, right? All right. So I tend to. This is also a routine that you can do. I think I I've learned from another guy, another pro. Uh, you take the vertical lines with. 
the entire the entire market uh, vertical vertical lines and you identify the high oh, sorry and it this this is something that you can um, try it and, and and see it for yourself it's really powerful i think it's simple it's in front of you and uh, there we go okay so identifies the ranges of the market from yesterday of course today it will not be so clear but those could be those could be yeah yesterday yeah so i think i took all the all the important levels so those levels that i, that I create on on the on the yes when markets tend to come to the mean reversion or the price that the yesterday's ranges so if you identify those ranges uh, from the uh, previous day those lines are, are from yesterday and you see overnight what the algos were the, were doing they were hitting this 2760 i don't know how many times one two three four five five times they were hitting this area and i guess it has to be yesterday's high almost closing so and, and and today is special because market is just ripping to the upside but it markets tend to come back to this kind of levels and, and trade around those and those i mean I, you can see you can identify algos that are really specialized in scalping those ranges between for example the 2760 to 2752 ish it could be um that's a really thing you can so never 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 use lines that are 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 in channels or technical analysis like i mean longer term maybe but on the intraday those are the ones that you should use you will find them very very interesting so how how do you quantify um the risk i because i imagine the um uh the matlab uh, computations are going to come in and depending on the volatility uh, yeah. you may have some pretty wide ranges for stops and take profits uh, based on uh, the action um, so you do you just uh, uh, either scale up or scale down on your um, um, on your size uh, volume of to trade yeah so so if you if you if MATLAB gives me calculate the risk um, and then I have to calculate as a function of the, uh, if I'm using leverage, then I can scale in and scale out and uh, be able any anyway have exposure to the market with a proper uh, risk, with a risk budget that I have. So I have also a calculation uh, math. Uh, it has like a yearly risk budget, monthly, weekly, and daily risk budget so you can do the this kind of a risk management and then be able to accommodate those in the variance of that risk management right that, understood yeah yeah i i think um so there's just a few questions here um uh so the vertical line scale um much wider than what i use okay um, um i'm getting a question here about uh, how, how do you determine those, those vertical lines those vertical lines those yellow lines um you were looking earlier at some vertical lines not horizontal ones yeah always um vert, vert, horizontal lines i mean uh, when you're when you're when you're drawing manually your your ranges of the market you always have to use uh, horizontal lines because you identify what the algos are doing the the, the 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 previous day and today what are they gonna co you can do reverse engineering uh, for, 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 for manual traders 
because you know all these algos they are based on technical analysis strategies that you can code it for yourself so they are not sophisticated as a as a uh, I think the most sophisticated is it's to read the order flow. And you can see through those algos that are trading those ranges. To be able to write, draw those, those ranges, you have to identify the, the, the market. I can draw it for you like manually so you can understand what I'm, what I'm talking about. If you have, a, do you see my yellow here? Yes. All right. So, if I if I identifying that's the price of the, the the market, and then I try to I take another color. Uh, ah, let's go with that one. So identify the range, the range, the range. Ah, I don't have any kind of a ruler. But those are the ranges from from top to bottom of the price range. Okay, so if prices are are between, let's say ES is between 27. Yesterday's range was. This is kind of a ATR on the micro micro scale. That's what I'm trying to to, to so you can understand that thing. To, to able to draw draw them yourself and to be able to 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 see that to see that i mean because they are not sophisticated i mean algos are are, are stupid as, as 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 machines they 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 don't think they just trade the ranges they're not for yours they don't they don't hunt your stop they don't they trade in ranges and traders tend to i mean Sometimes in the beginning you were you were trading in the middle of the range and of course you will get stopped out and you will blame oh the algos are searching for my stops but it's algos are just trading the ranges and, and that's a thing to identify it's really really powerful and it's it's in front of you Yeah, I mean, is would you have happen to have maybe an example uh, of uh, of a trade today that uh, that you took? Uh, today, no, because I I didn't took any trade uh, today because markets were uh, going away early in the night. So today was sit on the hands, and I, I mean, I have a longer longer positions since the beginning of this uh, correction phase to the long side. So uh, I have calls, 3,200 uh, level for ES December calls. So I'm comfortable with the, let the letting them ride the, the movement. So I, I'm, I have still very bullish uh, view of the market. So so either I, I, I have exposure because I'm, I'm running an equity you know, a private equity company. So I have to be on the market. So, so specific today, I was hoping for, for a more volatile market so we could show some of the trades, but unfortunately uh, we couldn't. <laughs> so. Right, right, understood. So so basically uh, um, if, um, uh, how, how do you handle, um, you know, news or, um, you know, something uh, new introduced into the market um, that uh, might uh, disrupt the uh, MATLAB computation? Um, I see it as a, as a I'm, I'm a really a believer of the data is always, somebody always knows something better in advance and they give, they give some footprint on the on the charts in 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 a way of protection because I'm, I'm analyzing the options and, and and the movement there the protections and and if they give some kind of a fingerprint on on the market you the market the anal, the analyst analysis analysis will show you the direction so many times that i've been uh, taking a trade and and then markets a news come out and um and we are sitting in the room and like oh my god 
who ordered that that news? No, you did. No, I did. Like joking around about it, but but it's it's amazingly how if you're if you're reading the flow, you're in you're in balance with the market. Of course, it's not going to be like that all the time, but there is there are periods that it's that are in, you're in really in in balance with the market. You just welcome those news, um, but. Like I said before, news as um, rate decisions on the Fed or the ECB, they tend to disrupt the market more. So I, I tend to not trade into the last hour of the Fed and to be flat and, and better sit and watch. So uh, those are the only news that I don't uh, put out the neck out there. So, ah, okay. So you disregard uh, like CPI or retail sales uh, data. Oh, those are the news that I get fails on. Understood. Okay. Or or it moves away, I guess, and and you don't get yeah. uh, opportunity. Exactly. Or or it get fails before, and then the move, the news comes, and then I'm with a profit within direction, or I get or or not if I get stopped in a second. So I I don't I don't. Uh, the news are a catalytic catalytic event that helps you in the in the many trades has uh, during this year i mean this experience that i had uh, it's all baked in the news the charts and, and, the, and the, the 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 flow it's it's i mean the, the analysis from yesterday the gate matla gave me like the direction of the market yeah and and unfortunately couldn't come i mean come in and uh, but the, the direction was correct and then and it was i i said in the room we were talking about it i think the independently how the out, outcome will be if it, the democrats win or the republicans wins the market it, 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 it gives the hint that the market wants to go up independently and of course if you want to get into deep the data is there of, of, of all the but there are so many out there, smart guys that can verbalize that. I don't, I don't go into that and try to desiccate it. So I think it's you have to have a, a very humble approach to the markets. That markets tend to tell you one thing, and you have to be able humble without any opinions and try to listen it objectively. And that's where you can be in, in dancing with the with the market, so to speak. Ah, understood. Okay. So, so uh, has it happened? I'm just curious. In the, in the past, though, like uh, let's say uh, CPI data is coming out uh, at 8:30 uh, Eastern, yeah. um, but uh, uh, you get uh, uh, a level uh, is triggered uh, 10 minutes beforehand, uh, and you you're in. Uh, so, you will you take the risk of something like that? Yeah, for example, for example, put, put, put um, the, the ES, it's on the level of 2800 right now, for example, hypothetically. The time is 8.30, uh, the, the news will come out. And the ES is trading, uh, I have an entry of 26.90. And the risk is 26, 27.90. Sorry, 27 and the risk is 10 points. And and the news, the ES is trading at 2800. Okay, so I have an entry of 2790. So the orders are in before the news, and then the the sell stops. All the 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 algos it's connected, so it could be filled. That's the that's the kind of approach that you have to have. Uh, be sitting in the order book, like hiding, hiding with icebergs, and then get fills when the price drops fast the faster it is the better because then you know there is always a contra contra action to the price movement sometimes you, you so you under i think i understand um however you're you're not entering um before the news you will not enter before. okay no, exactly. Under, understood exactly. okay um so are, are you using also um a hidden order uh, yes. mostly okay yeah. yes 
you want to show you, you, you a little bit about about that to to some of our yeah. users? Hidden orders. I mean, you show you show one contract and you have ninety nine contracts behind it. You, you of course you don't want to show your hand when, when if you want to buy like hundred contracts on on the market. Um, you just want to be hiding so people will not be or or in portions of of tens. Uh, in different levels, so you you want to hide those orders. You want to you want to show your hand when you want the the price of the the market uh, go down, so you will be able to fill more. So this is this is so obvious. I mean, you, you, you and uh, I'm not saying spoofing because that's illegal, but there it's a lot of in the market that's you can read that in the in the in the. Especially in the NQ, it's so obvious. In thin markets like the FTSE as well, the DAX. Um, so, yeah, there, 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 there is the software and the, the, that you can use to to hit in orders. So, so you just show the, how many contracts you want to uh, be on the limit. And uh, Bookmap, it's printing those hitting orders as well. I mean. So, so it's not so. For the untrained eye, you can you can you can hide from, but not from the book map. So, yeah. So you can you can witness your own uh, algos going off. Yeah, sure. Your... <laughs> sure. I can show you. I can I can see that. I mean, <laughs> together with other guys. I mean, they're they're hiding as well. Um, yeah. And, and sometimes all this, for example, ES right now it's between 27 and 86, and but there is a lot of buy. You can guess that there is a lot of buy stops about 20 2800, and um, people with this CV, CV, CVD 13 is quite flat though. But they will try to trigger those stops. I mean, programs are are are. are let me just check one thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, markets are, are are amazing, beautiful. Sometimes, once you once you tr try to understand those mechanics, and it's really amazing how it works. Everything is interconnected with the whole world. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I, I agree. Uh, it's a uh, it's quite a quite a thing uh, uh, every day. Uh, and um, um, let's see here. A few. Uh, everyone, get your questions in. What we'll, we'll um, yeah, sure. uh, I can get a few, I can... few more in here um, for Luis, and then um, uh, we got to. Uh, we're almost been going for an hour here. Um, but let's see here. Um, the, and I, thought I will do this for 20 minutes. I saw. We, let's try to keep it short, maybe, <laughs> because the people people's concentration. It's not more than 20 minutes. I mean, you get tired of it. <laughs> right, uh, right. Uh, well, we have uh, uh, Marvino saying that uh, he's he feels like he just witnessed a, a magic show, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, like sleight of hand here uh, yeah. from uh, from you, uh, concealing yeah. all sorts of uh, activities. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, you can, I mean, I can show you, um, huge liquidity in the market product. Yeah, those other ones are not using liquidity and they're using, they're showing the hands also to to give also a hint to the other guys, let's push this market up. I mean, you, you don't wanna, I mean, if you really want to, you're, they're already in the position. If I'm on, on a trade with 100 lots, I don't wanna put 100 more just to, to, to put more risk on i just want to give a hint to the other guys come on help me out here and and people algos are being triggered also about this price you can you can take down the nq with like 100 lots sometimes i mean really people are listening the algos and, and uh, when it comes to yeah. this huge, the pack, uh, pack hunting yeah type of activity <laughs> huge liquidity yeah you can you can i mean ex, you call it expansion bars these programs that are running sometimes with the you get triggered by 
but a cascade of programs. Let, let, let us identify one. I mean, I can, uh, let me show you with a pen. Here is one, I think this is a, oh, the pen is yellow, so it's not good enough color right now. I mean, take take one minute bar chart, and I'm not using chart, but I, I, I can detect the, the, the programs. Here is a cell program, ah, no, wait, wait. Let me zoom out and then we can see one very clearly. Yeah, it was one. Yeah, I mean, you see this, I think it was 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and the ES made a movement to the upside. Some liquidity came around 2782-ish, and then some programs were running to, to test the VWAP. I think it's the VWAP here, or the POC. Yeah, it's the VWAP. So, and the CVD, uh, the CVD is pushing to the downside. So it was aggressive sell program and if we watch the spy um yeah that takes a, a little bit spy so you will see the same on the spy it's harder on for the bookmap uh i think it's it has to use another prop prop uh software um it's much harder to, to detect. But if you take a, sh uh, a one minute chart and on the one minute uh, expansion bars, I think you can detect it. on the book map, you can detect those programs on the CVD and this activity. Uh, let me check if I can expand it. No, I cannot. Uh, sorry guys. Not detected. This one. Maybe you could um, just uh, kind of uh, uh, with the bigger marker, uh, just kind of uh, make a circle yeah. around that area, uh, and yeah. the CVD as well. Okay, I take with the book map marker, horizontal ellipse. Okay, four o'clock. Four o'clock. It was some. I think it was some kind of news. At ten o'clock. I mean, you're. There is. This this area when the CBD was was trending to the downside very clearly, and then a bounce came into this 82, and then they hit with some multiple programs on the market, and CBD was just pushing to the downside. Right. Right, in, right into the VWAP there. Right into the VWAP, and then buyers came in. You could see liquidity coming in, defending this area. And algos, algos were in this area of uh, the VWAP. You know, there's there is a lot of VWAP algos. There are trade around this VWAP. So, so primarily, when the way that um, I, you know, as you said, you, the way that you're using uh, Bookmap is to, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, quantify some of the levels that uh, um, you've gotten from MATLAB in your um, yeah. automation, uh, your process. Um, yeah. But you're really looking at um, the the heat map um, yeah. uh, heavily. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. not really looking at the the uh, traded volume so much. No, no. I mean, I don't. No, the the, the heat map you can. I think it's powerful. There, there is when when the rate of change of the market, the velocity of the market, the momentum, when the market it's, it it's, um, has kind of a the equilibrium is is it's in it's in equilibrium. The supply and demand, the buyers and sellers. That's when the levels of the market tend to respect the algos tend to trade around those levels when the market is really really strong with the momentum it will all this liquidity will be ignored and will be absorb abs, abs, absorb yeah absorb because markets just just want to get 
get more more push to the ups the maximum pain for the for the sellers uh, you can see this on when the market is trending to the downside people are trying to buy or, or cover or buyers that will be absorbed by by sellers say will sellers will hit so it depends on the situation of the mechanics of the market um, it's also something that I, I, I read about it I mean on the on the heat map um, so, yeah. Understood. Understood. So, um, uh, yeah, the, uh, lots of lots of insight. Heavily using the uh, the heat map, which is which is great. Uh, that's um, yeah. uh, a, a feature here that uh, a book map displays um, compared to other other uh, platforms out there. They just they just don't. Um, no. No. You don't get this kind of a three-dimensional mechanics of the market, and yeah. And and then one question is: if he hides his order, who are people displaying huge liquidity in the market, protecting levels? People are are bidding. I mean, for for whatever reason it is. I mean, there is a lot of funds that they have to be hedge or 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 be in the market. I don't know. I mean, who are they? You can identify them as the the biggest the banks or whatever funds you. The market, the market is based on, on thousands of thousands of people. I mean, when 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 you identify, define who are they? I mean, just the market. I don't know if it answered the questions, but, but don't don't look at the market as a as an enemy. The, the, you have to be in symbiotic movement with this monster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, uh, I think um, uh, that's a, a fantastic uh, <laughs> uh, approach here is uh, uh, it's a monster that uh, and, and be kind of in movement with it. Um, and um, uh, very, very simply, I mean, it's uh, uh, you're using, um, uh, you know, very high end math, but to just uh, basically do the same thing to get an edge on the higher time frames. And then look at these lower time frames in book map uh, to uh, uh, position the uh, the entry with the heat map. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I think you have to always be dynamic and, and 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 be able to to. Of course, you have to have a sustainable strategy uh, with a risk management with a plan always, and and not all, always be absorbed also about about this the heat map as well. I mean. They they want to they want to fake and, and able to to see those fake orders when they spoofing and they were they are putting limits and 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 they are not longer term liquidity so the longer term liquidity tends to be more more reliable when market has lower rate of change look it up that the, the lower rate of change that's really interesting to see, to measure the the, the, the momentum. Or, or you can read the book map has this CVD, so you can configure. I configure the CVD like the opening hours. I reset the CVD so I can try to measure uh, from the opening and then reset it at uh, midnight. So it's also a feature that it's really nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Um, uh, yep, the questions about the uh, recordings. Uh, I put the uh, playlist recording uh, in the chat as well as uh, uh, contact information for, for Luis uh, if you want to reach out to him. Um, and um, I'm just curious, uh, uh, Luis, on, um, now that the markets have uh, really picked up in terms of volatility, uh, it must have been kind of challenging uh, beforehand when the volatility was quite low uh, last year. Uh, how, how did um, how did trading work for you um, in that environment? Yeah, of course, it's it's we we, we all live by by volatility, but this uh, the MATLAB strategy accommodates to the to the market, so there is no. The, it's better, of course, when volatility picks up, but based on the the the, the math, it accommodates. So it's a it's a really trend following longer term uh, strategy. So if the market goes down, then we know how to sell. I mean, if we if we if we markets tend to go up, 
it's it's it flips so it doesn't have any kind of a preference of uh, for, for for the markets so and also there is when volatility goes down there are always markets that are more volatile so you tend to i would i tend to watch the markets like crude or or the the gold uh, so it's really depend you have to be flexible so you have to you just cannot marry marry yourself with the market oh yes it's the only one you have to be flexible because that's how you, how you learn to you have to survive with volatility <laughs> yeah yeah the dx feed Please, can you clarify if the DXV does provide the ES future contracts? And uh, no, I mean it's just uh, the rit the rhythmic data feed and the CQG, and the DX feed takes the SPY, the SPY uh, DX feed, the VXS, the X. For example, I have the the VX the SPY right now also. So, and the VXX, it's I think it's really really powerful to have because. They dance together. I mean, really, uh, when when longer term liquidity comes in on VXX, and let us check it out. I have the gen here, but let me show you. Here is longer term liquidity on on the VXX 33 to 33. These guys wants to sell this VXX. And that will that could create some kind of a pop on the on the on the ES if if the VXX drops, yeah. Wow, more than one hour on this seminar. Yeah, we've uh, kind of uh, uh, gone gone through lots of different uh, nice questions here uh, for you. Yeah. And, and I I told myself I'm not going to have a PowerPoint. Uh, I just hate PowerPoints. So I I prefer open questions and then unprepared and under rehearse and over over perform let's do that kind of thing stanislavski peer theater technique <laughs> uh, robert robert de niro uses it a lot just so you know it's it's a fun thing that i learned from from my times when i was a dancer <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so so basically um uh, depending on 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 the day, uh, you might be positioning yourself. It might be a really busy day with multiple instruments. Yeah, yeah. I tend to uh, trade four, four or yeah, four instruments. Sometimes five. I'm managing 40 positions right now uh, on different um, FX as well. Uh, times two right at this moment. So it's like 80 positions right now on the crosses on this on the FX at the same time. So. Wow. So I get a feeling. You get a feeling about the market. What it's tend to do. It's an algorithmic uh, portfolio system. So it's uh, it's also an edge. Also, kind of a when markets were in the room, we were talking about kind of a this topic pattern. Pattern. I became like, okay, guys, let's when when ES was around 2,900, 2,040, and then we started to like give a hint like this is this smells correction here because the fx were were doing some building positions the dollar yen shorts and that got my attention really really good actually it was really nice and now for a couple of weeks ago they started to shift they started to sh uh, change positions like taking profit from all the shorts and shifting to the long long uh, positions that correlate with the ES, and that's also was really interesting. So see how, how the algos are, are working, uh, right? And, right. And ignore, ignoring all these opinions about oh, market is overvalue. Uh, the pro, the, the algos, the strategies are more profitable than my opinions. So I always listen to the strategies because my ego gets into my my disturbing. You know, it's like oh. I know better. No, I know it. The strategy knows it better. It's just listen to that. <laughs> it's it's a common thing to 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 learn. Yeah. Well, uh, I think uh, that uh, 
pretty much wraps it up here. Um, and uh, sorry if I didn't get to some of your guys' questions here, but uh, we've been going for like about an hour and uh, uh, 12 minutes or so. So um, I'll send the list of questions on to uh, Luis and uh, we can uh, follow up. Uh, the recordings, I put the uh, link in the chat there uh, to the playlist. Uh, you'll find the recording in there later today. Uh, and then also all of the uh, contact information you can see in there uh, for uh, for Luis as well. Uh, and um, uh, just reach out to him if you have any questions. Um, Luis, thank sure. you very much. I mean, this was a really uh, interesting and unique uh, and and highly professional uh, view uh, into this uh, into this world here. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, uh, thank uh, you. Thank you very fantastic much. Fantastic to see. I mean, it, it, uh, I I figure out. I think it's it's really. I mean, I really love to 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 help out, and, and it, get, it got me. I mean, I'm getting better, much better. You always want to get better, and I I get better better, also because I have to really explain things that I also learn, and that it clarifies for me as well. And and it's it's a process of learning. You never stop learning. I think it's you have to be able to find your humbleness as a personality. Whatever you do, I mean, if it's music, music, sports, academics, I mean, it's it's just standing. How do you say, searching for 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 knowledge, and I think it's never stopped. It's yeah. <laughs> Thank you for 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 sharing things, and I think it help could help some out there. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, right. we'll uh, 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 send the uh, questions on to Lewis uh, for later. Uh, everyone take care, and uh, we'll catch up another time. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay.